Hi, I'm John the Banking Systems Engineer and Lesson 90 is Part 2 of an article When the Money Isn't Flowing, Invent Your Own Currency from October 13, 2008 by Aaron Farrington. A kind of overview of all the reports on lets and community currencies. They all sound similar, good stuff, and so this is Part 2. Using shells, a debit balance does not represent the onerous burden it can imply in the cash economy. The main thing is for shell account holders to be engaged with others in their community so that their balances move up and down regularly. This engagement is available to all, but the very idea of indebtedness can pose a challenge to alternative currency systems, even in systems like LETS, where hard currency plays no role. And that's true. Tom Kennedy, an ally of mine, school teacher, started up a LETS in his grade 5 class. And he used to give his kids less credits if they were good. And then they could use it to buy computer time or time in the gym or things like that. He found some interesting things. That some of the kids were hoarding their LETSs, credits, and some of them got stolen once. But he found that nobody wanted to go into the negative first. There's an inherent human trait that says I would rather pay my way first and have it to spend earned first than go into debt. And of course, a solution to that is to start up a Let's Depository Store where you can bring stuff that you want to offer for sale and leave it on deposit and then you can leave with credits. And that way the store holds all the negatives while it's got the collateral backing up those negatives and everybody else is walking around with positives. And that way the fear of indebtedness is gone. So starting a let store where they can deposit some collateral is the easiest way to not have this problem of indebtedness. So, uh, da, 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 uh, da, da. the system makes things available to those without cash, meaning everyone can afford what they need and what they want to be happy in their community. Uh, sometimes it's hard to convince new members to just start trading. I what says, we are all ingrained with the idea that it is bad to go into debt. But let's points are not charged interest. And the only real debt is to give something back to your community. So not a harmful debt. Debt doesn't grow. Alternative currencies, more than just cute. Alternative currencies fascinate and engage Viviana Zelizer, professor of sociology at Princeton University and author of The Social Meaning of Money. Zelizer coined the term circuits of commerce to capture a distinctive form of economic interaction conducted in specifically defined social and cultural settings in which grassroots organizations create their own means of exchange. So why can't more do it? You know, why are they so slow? She uses the term commerce in the old fashioned sense, meaning conversation, interchange, social intercourse and mutual influence. The standard assumption by economists and others is that money is only legal tender, which is state issued, says Zelliger. What I'm arguing is that we have multiple monies, a whole range, and these monies are not just peripheral cute things, but functioning currencies. Using alternative currencies builds community and profitability at the same time, she adds. Palmas Bank, a community bank in Brazil, provides an excellent example of this principle, created by Joaquim de Mello Segundo, a national fellow since 2004, a theologian, educator, and community leader. Palmas Bank serves the community by helping to develop local economy while earning revenue. So here's a group of women who received Palmas notes, right? as an investment to buy sewing machines and, and a sewing enterprise that has launched the Palmas fashion brand of clothing. They earn a monthly salary in Palmas notes from the sales of clothing. Now notice Yunus of the microcredit guy, the uh, Grameen Bank, he's getting credit for, oh, loan sharking money so poor women can buy a sewing machine and go into business, except these poor women have to pay him 20% interest. Here at the Palmas Bank, it looks like they don't, and they can earn it in Palmas credits. After 20 years of organizing collective action to urbanize Cajunto Palmiera, the poor town in which he lived, Melo saw little improvement in standard of living. We discovered that we were making ourselves economically poor because all the goods we consumed were coming from outside the community, moving thus our financial resources outside the community and to large corporations. In order to generate employment and income for the residents, we created the community bank, Banco Palmas, whose challenge was to stimulate local production. 
Also, another South American example, a community bank in the highlands of Argentina known as the Community Hours Bank provides financing for the Soul Solidarity Organization Liberty Foundation through donations of goods and contributions from residents in the city council. The Sol Foundation created a community currency system that finances mutual credit operations, family projects, social organizations, and community activities. Yay! Boy, those Latins are smart compared to we, Amer we Europeans, aren't they? Marcello and Americans and Canadians. Caldano and Ashko Fellow since 2003 is founder and president of Sol and designed the Community Hours Bank. He said he was motivated to create the system when he recognized that many of his fellow community members have valuable knowledge, skills, and abilities, but were stifled for lack of funding. No chips. I realized they didn't have the money needed to cover their basic needs or to develop community projects, Caldano said. I realized that the country's money goes from the poorest regions to the wealthiest ones and that it was necessary to create a reliable and stable local currency system based on community currency that can make visible each person's skills, allowing them to exchange skills with their neighbors and support common projects. The recirculation of resources within a local economy is central to all alternative currency systems. Berkshires, a local currency system in the Massachusetts Berkshire Mountains in the United States, has attractive mainstream financial incentives as well. Residents purchase Berkshires at 90 cents on the dollar, while participating businesses accept them at full U.S. value. A 10% purchasing power incentive for those using Berkshire currency. Hmm. What, are the, what do the stores do with them after? According to the Rudolf Steiner Social Finance Fund for Complementary Currencies, more than 1.8 million Berkshires have been issued and 300 local businesses are using them. The organization refers to Berkshires as a successful project that's ready, already an engine for local sustainable development, one which highlights the role small banks can play in a vibrant uh, local community. The participating banks Hold hard currency deposits to back Berkshires. Well, that's too bad. They're limiting the amount of new currency, local currency, to the amount of old community currency, real stuff that they can find. And if they can't find much real federal currency, they can't issue much local currency because the currency isn't based on their members' time. It's based on their members' cash. A pretty big weakness, you know, to limit your collateral to only cash and not time. It's actually derogatory of human time if you think about it. So, uh, they hold currency, but bank involvement is hardly based on financial interest, according to Luan Harvey, vice president of Berkshire's bank. It is a lot of extra work for the bank, she said, but we know we're supporting the local economy. We want to see the community do well. And it's not a bad idea. If everybody in a town like Greece, Sparta, years ago, when you showed up in Sparta, you dropped all your gold off at the central bank and they gave you clay poker chip, clay chips. And then you used them in town. And when you left town, you cashed out your chips for the gold. But in the meantime, the city of Sparta got to hold the gold and put it on deposit with the banks and the city of Sparta got the interest. So, the Toronto dollar system works the same way. People buy Toronto dollars, and the Toronto dollar system deposits the cash and gets the interest, while everybody's getting the same purchasing power using the alternate currency. So, yeah, it's a help. It gives you the Sparta effect of you, your group, collecting all the interest from the system while you're using local, but it limits the local currency to a stupid limit of cash and during the depression when no one's got go no any cash i guess they're going to have to shut down right so in return the community must physically go to the bank to get their berkshires so this face time gives banks invaluable marketing opportunities Oper but still the bank's doing something good first time i ever said a bank did something good well that's not true the credit union in ithaca new york also helped and belongs to the uh, the Ithaca Hours system and accepts Ithaca Hours in the payment of its bank fees. So don't tell me banks and credit unions couldn't set up Let's accounts and help save their countries.
So opportunities are what alternative currencies are all about in their different forms, whether online in tokens or hours, or as script that complements mainstream specie. Alternative currencies give access to the underserved and strengthen the community cohesion by creating mutual ties between and among community members. They demonstrate that economies, local and national, can flourish with the right kind of commerce and that money can transcend its roots. All monies are not the same, said Zelizer. The social life of money is as busy and intriguing as its economic life. So I'm asking Aaron Farrington and anyone else at changemakers.net to get involved in trying to find anybody who can influence anybody at Davos World Economic Forum, the rich, or Belem World Social Forum, the poor, to both endorse the Unilets resolution. Just imagine how the whole world could be saved on February the 1st if both these fora both agree to adopt the Unilets resolution for a time standard of money to restructure the global financial architecture as promised in the Millennium Declaration Resolution C6 to governments.